So what we have seen before, and also in these two special cases, is that the distance is really important. So how do you deal with the situation where it's difficult to tell what the distance is? Like, for example, the diffusion of water vapor through my shirt. What is the distance there? Well, you have two options, basically. You can make a detailed, complicated 3D model and simulate something. Or you can make something much, much simpler and use mass transfer coefficients. A mass transfer coefficient is an empirical constant, constant uh, that relates a concentration difference to a mass transfer rate. And I said it's a constant, quote unquote, because it actually changes with conditions. It changes with temperature. And you can actually figure out why, right? Because we saw before in the advanced model for estimating the mass diffusivity in gases that the diffusivity depended on temperature. So if you change the temperature, the mass transfer coefficient should also change, which is usually it does. And if you're clever, you can think of this equation here, for example, for the mass transfer, um, the diffusivity in gases, and use that to extrapolate if you have one measurement of mass transfer rate through a shirt, for example, and then you change the temperature, you can try to figure out how much should the mass transfer coefficient change approximately. So a mass transfer coefficient depends on the medium and it depends on flow conditions. So do we have forced flow uh, or not through my shirt? And how do you determine the mass transfer coefficient? Well, you determine it through an experiment. But you can also estimate uh, changes when you change its op operating conditions. You can use like the advanced model, for example, to see how the diffusivity changes. And that should relate somehow to the mass transfer coefficient. And the how those two are linked depends on what kind of model that is applicable. And we will talk about three different models. We will talk about the two film theory, the penetration theory, and the boundary layer theory. And which one should you use? Well, it depends on the situation. And we will talk about these three in separate videos. But these are the equations that we use for the two film theory, the penetration theory, and the boundary layer theory. So how the diffusivity relates to the mass transfer coefficient. Later, we will also talk about Reynolds analogy and Chilton Coburn's analogy. And while these three theories, uh, two film theory, penetration theory, and boundary layer theory, relate the diffusivity to the mass transfer coefficient, Reynolds analogy and Chilton Coburn's analogy instead relates a mass transfer coefficient to the momentum transfer coefficient and the heat transfer coefficient. So, three different empirical constants. And it doesn't tell us anything about mass diffusivity or heat diffusivity or diffusivity of momentum.